Same thing they're looking to do in this game here. Let's see if uh, Centaurian can do something early on. It's not spotted. Just snuck his way around the corner. Oh, looking for Betsy to flash. And they're going to get an easy peasy first blood. In, so Cadro might gank him. All right, here we go. There's the all-in, but he's bringing a few friends, or at least one. Cadro coming in for the assist. Ruin's going to get the hop up. Flashes oh. out. Oh, my Ishii God. thought they had him. It's from the blue team, not from the red team. HK not controlling any side of the map. And they are trying to find it out, but Joko, he's going to pull in Smitty J, who says, that's just fine, I'll take this fight, throws down the cage. Cadrill is flashing forward. He's real bloodthirsty here, the passive is popped inside the Dragon Pit. Dragon not been proc just yet, but Targamus and Ruin sniffing around the side. Not going to go for it, so Joko goes down. Rage Blade, of course, completed long ago. And Ruin jumped on. We've seen this movie before. Cadrill coming in for cleanup duty. He's picking up his first kill of the game. I think Joko is trying to gank Smitty J. Okay, here we go, Smitty. He's getting the hop. He does have flash. Is he going to use it? Unstoppable. The cage nice goes ulti. down once again. And he gets attack sweep on. Cage will come in to try and help defend. But he gets pulled in. Smitty J flashes all over the board. And Ruin gets revenge. And Baron goes down very quick when you have this comp here. Oh, are they going to start this? You got to at least put a control ward in there. Don't be lazy. He's in plain sight, too. There we go. Clear that vision out. Now the control goes down for Santorin. This is probably looking at the steal up. Oh, no, we can't quite do it. And Santorin is just a hair's breadth too late. Steel back picking up his first kill of the game. And now they're turning the fight once more onto H2K. Promise Q is unbreakable. The Giants charging down the line. They didn't really get the side lanes going. But now we can see why Joko opted to take the Zack pick because it's just letting them set up these fights. And now Sheriff, he's nearly gone down to zero and he's burning away from the the bloodthirsty support, and now Santorin is going to be next to fall. Cadro might be out, but he is steadily running out of base to get to. And it looks like Giants want to close this one nice and easy. Yesterday, H2K lost in 31 minutes, and it looks like Giants are about to beat that record. Looking for Smitty J. Ruin hopping around the side, and it's going to be promised you pulled back in. Steal back with another kill, and Giants, once that go button was pressed, there was no turning back around. Shy of 30 minutes on the clock, they want to clean up, Cadrill going for the fountain time. Oh, for the swag kill, they're not going to be able to get it in the end. Flashing off, and the game is over. Giants with the win. Fastest game of the split here from Giants.